It is election day here in mid Michigan. Good evening everyone. I'm David Andrews and I'm Ann Emmerich. Smaller local elections typically have a much smaller turnout than larger state or national elections. People in Jackson are casting ballots on a countywide school millage. But as our Aaron Bowling found out, not a lot of people are exercising their right to vote. That's right. Aaron joins us live from the polls in Jackson to tell us how a lower voting turnout can affect our local elections. And if you take a look behind me, you can see there's not a whole lot of voting going on here right now. I spoke with both the Jackson County and Ingham County clerk earlier today, and they both say May elections have way less voters than November elections. So far, we are looking at about 11% turnout, and we know that based on the absentee ballots that have been turned in already. County clerks estimating the May 2nd election brings out roughly 40% less people in comparison to November elections. With a countywide school millage on the ballot in Jackson, this election impacts all of their schools and property owners. Well, it's unfortunate that all of the qualified registered voters are not actively participating in the elections that affect them. And I think when they don't participate, they're not, they're just not having their voice heard and that's really unfortunate. At Jackson's polling locations on Tuesday, poll workers and voters who showed out shared the same feelings. Craig Wyckoff was the 18th voter across two separate precincts today after the polls had been open for about six hours. Well, you got 18 voters in this precinct, these two precincts that are gonna decide that. If the money's coming out or not, uh, that's, I don't know. I, I think it's really sad. So someone else needs to come in and bump up our numbers. Our voting booths have pretty much stayed open the whole time as far as availability and we would love to see more people participate. There's still time to vote in your local elections with polling stations closing tonight at 8 o'clock. Live in Jackson, Aaron Bowling, News 10.